country music icon returns to San Antonio this weekend. Willie Nelson and family are at the Majestic Theater this Sunday. Yep, he's got a new CD out. He is busier than ever, and he invited me to spend a weekend with him and take you along. In the first of our two-part series, he tells me all about the early days he spent here in San Antonio, his infamous bid for the White House, and his famous Braves. I think you'll enjoy the ride on the road with Willie. <laughs> I live a reality show. Huh? Even at 81, Willie Nelson is hard to catch. A couple of times I've lived in San Antonio in Pleasanton and used to work for a radio station down there, KBOP in Pleasanton. And uh, I've been working around San Antonio and John T's for many, many years. The John T he's referring to is John T. Floor, who in 1942, as the manager of the Majestic Theater, went out on his own and opened a dance hall, which became Floor's country store, and is by many considered the musical birthplace of Willie Nelson. Well, where there's smoke, there's probably Willie and some great barbecue. He's playing tonight, just as he did every Saturday night for so many years at the historic Floors Country Store in downtown Hillows. The story is that you spent some time, you know, sleeping there in the back. No. It, it never happened. Yeah. See, they're making stuff up about you. That's good, as long as it's a good story. <laughs> it is a good story. See, I brought it to you, and it's not true. Willie did not sleep in the back room, but there is a, a poster for you back there to run for president. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? That running for president? No, I'd run from the president. <laughs> Having fun on the road and on stage are part of the legend that is Willie Nelson, including the story he told me of how his braids recently made news when they were sold for more than $35,000. That whole story is another story that really, the truth of it is that I was in Maui swimming off the coast and uh, my lung collapsed. And uh, so I made it back to shore and made it to the hospital and, and I was uh, my manager Mark come over and I was laying there in the hospital and uh, I thought happened you know here's something funny to do so while he was coming in I had my braids there and before he come in I took a scissors and clipped them off and just left them laying there and so he come in and said how you doing I said well I think I'm doing all right but this medicine's not right something's wrong and I pulled my hair and the whole braid come off and he almost fainted. And those braids are always on his mind. We want to thank Floors for letting us tag along. He's going to be at the Majestic. And coming up on Friday here on SA Live, more with Willie Nelson as we take you inside his ranch and he shares some very personal passions with us exclusively. That's Friday here on SA Live. That's so cool that you got to hang out with him. I'm jealous. He is such a legend and has so many stories. And if you haven't had a chance to see him or you want to go see him again, the Majestic this Sunday, 730, you can still grab tickets on their website at MajesticEmpire.com. More SA Live straight ahead. You don't want to move.